Eliagami writes, please make a video on the importance of testicles. Yeah, seriously. And what if someone don't have a pair or one? What effect it would have on human body? I found nothing on YouTube related to this, but I believe you will do it in something better and different way. What? No questions asked. But who am I to judge? QG, your lord and savior, is here to help. Guess there will be no ad money on this video. Castration was a common practice in our past, from the punishment of prisoners, ideological and religious reasons, to the keepers of the Sultan's harem. Testicles are an important part in the endocrine system of man and are responsible for the differentiating factors of the sexes. But if the testicles are so important, why do they have to be outside of your body, where they can get removed easily in the first place? Can't they just be behind a ribcage? Your testicles have to be outside of your body because they need to be cooler than the temperature on the inside. They need to be cooler because they produce sperms which are important for reproduction. That's also why your testicles get pulled closer to the body when you're cold. Too much information, I know, but get used to it. People that have the testicles removed when they're a boy never grow facial hair or develop a deep voice. Important note here, when they're a boy. Castration has much bigger effects on your appearance when you're younger, because you still need to go through puberty where male sex hormones are crucial. Also the castrated boys never go bald, as testosterone can, in genetic predisposed men, affect hair loss. And they may be taller, which is, at least in my case, understandable, as the combination of my huge balls of steel and gravity have been an annoying hindrance in my growth process. Hate wise. <laughs> And other factors that go along with castration are gynecomastia, which is the growing of man boobs due to the increased estrogen, and kyphosis, which is the bad back posture due to the lower bone mineral density and the higher chance of osteoporosis and bone fractures in castrated men. Those two attributes might not be the best fundament for an army, such as the Unsullied in Game of Thrones speaking to you, masters. Allegedly, Michael Jackson has been chemically castrated when he was a child. This could explain his lack of facial hair, high-pitched voice and feminine behavior. Also don't forget that there is little to no sex drive when your balls are removed. That's why Eunuchs, people that were castrated, were tasked with looking after the women of the emperor in the Ottoman and Chinese empire. But hey, allegedly, these Asian people lived up to 20 years longer. But I guess these weren't fun years. On a more serious note, when it comes to testicular cancer, a removal of the testicle, also called orchidectomy, can lead to body image issues in men. Survivors, especially younger men, report the desire to look normal and the desire to feel whole again. Testicles are a male organ that is highly associated with masculinity, sexual function, fertility and romantic relationships. Oftentimes men joke about having balls of steel, as I did in the middle of the video. But a lot of these mental symptoms can be counteracted by the getting offered a prosthesis after the operation. You heard it right, not by getting a prosthesis, but by getting offered one, because this makes you feel like you're in control. This takes you out of the victim mentality and back in the positive frame. This is not common practice in hospitals as I've read, so make sure that if you ever find yourself in such a situation, which I don't hope, that you ask your doctor about the option of a prosthesis. Physiologically speaking, removing one testicle, as it's mostly the case in testicular cancer, doesn't reduce sex drive or erections. But losing both testicles can impair those results. In this case, hormone replacement therapy can counteract those effects. Having your testicles removed is not a great idea, be it for religious or cultural reasons. They are important for your endocrine system, confidence and reproduction. But if you have to get it removed due to a disease or torture, make sure you get informed about prostheses and start hormone replacement therapy if necessary. You can ask a question in the comments if you want me to make a video about it. I should have made it clear now that they literally consider every suggestion. I appreciate you guys.